Hi, is this Bodyguard Incorporated? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to hire Liam Neeson for a 24-7 shift. The Grey stars Liam Neeson. It's about a team of Alaskan drillers, and Liam Neeson is the guy who they hire to kill any wolves who may attack them at any point in time, because apparently wolves in Alaska attack people all the time. Now, when they're all on a plane going somewhere, their plane actually crashes, and they get stranded in this extremely remote area of Alaska where there's nothing but ice, trees, and wolves. Liam Neeson, being the wolf master that he is, is the guy who decides to try to help all these guys try to survive this wilderness area survive being attacked by the wolves, and find some form of civilization. Liam Neeson was kind of like his character in Taken, except with wolves. Like, he knew everything about wolves, he had a very special set of skills involving wolves, he knew everything about surviving in the wilderness. I mean, Liam Neeson is just awesome. I, I really like Liam Neeson, and he is by far the best part of this film. His performance is very good. It was a believable role in regards to his physicality, and in regards to uh, his emotion that he put into his character. The Grey was a solid thriller. It's directed by Joe Carnahan, the guy who made A-Team, which, you know, A-Team was all right. I mean, it was just a kind of a fun little movie. The main antagonist of this movie is a, a group of wolves who are picking off men one by one. And it's a little bit hard to believe if you know anything about wolves. Generally, wolves don't really attack people that much. The film makes it convincing, though, because it makes it seem as if the men are encroaching upon the wolves' territory, and that's what's got them all riled up and everything. And, and that, that seems like it could happen. And and it probably does happen. If you ever seen a movie called The Edge with Alec Baldwin and Anthony Hopkins, it was basically like that, except it was in an area that was freezing, and instead of bears, it was wolves. Pluses about this movie are Liam Neeson's performance and the use of location. I really, honestly felt freezing during this movie. I mean, I really felt like I was there. The wolves as villains worked the best when they were off screen, when you would see their glowing eyes in the distance, or see their breath just forming in the distance, and you're like, oh boy, there's a wolf right there. For me, that was when the wolves were most frightening, when it was building up to them possibly being there. When they were actually there, or when they attacked someone, it didn't really look very realistic. Lots of shaky cam, couldn't really tell what was going on. For the most part, I bought them as villains. Now, there's a major problem I have with this movie, and you may have noticed by now that I'm not actually using the trailer in this review, and that's because the trailer of this movie gives away not only the ending of the film, but it actually makes you think that something happens that doesn't. So if you haven't watched the trailer, please avoid it. Because it kind of ruined the ending of the movie for me, not just because I knew it was going to happen, but because I was expecting something to happen that didn't. And it was a little bit disappointing. It's not really the film's fault though. At first I was mad at the movie, but then I realized it's really the trailer's fault. So I can't really fault the movie for that. Some of the problems I had with The Grey were I found some of the side characters to be really uninteresting. Liam Neeson's character I was very much invested in, but for the most part I found the other men in the group pretty boring. The side characters were a little bit cliched. And so when some of those characters were threatened, I didn't feel very much invested in them getting hurt. I didn't really care so much. I was just really with Liam Neeson the whole time. The Grey is kind of a bleak thriller. It's not where those movies are going to leave and be like, I'm just going to go <laughs> look at rainbows all day. It is, however, a good ride and it's very intense. I'm going to give The Grey a B. I'd like to know, what's your favorite Liam Neeson movie? I actually don't know what mine is. I'm not very good at choosing those kind of things. If you like this review, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuckmanized.